lost. Everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Ich frag verstehe, also das ist für mich gerade extrem schlimm, weil ähm, ich habe Life is Strange 1 selber let's played. Man findet das auf meinem YouTube-Kanal unter anderem halt. Also man findet es nur auf meinem YouTube-Kanal. Und ähm, es ist schon extrem hart, muss ich ganz ehrlich gestehen. Ähm, mir war am Anfang direkt bewusst, dass er das ist. Ich hatte es halt schon in, in der Vorahnung. Aber ich möchte auf jeden Fall wissen, ob die sich wieder verstehen. Ich möchte es auf jeden Fall... Ich frage nicht, warum bist du hergekommen? Nein. Aber obwohl, eigentlich sind beide Fragen... Oh Gott. Mann. Ich möchte beide Sachen wissen. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? Haben die überlebt? Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter. At last. You guys remind me of them. In a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this. Das Lustige ist ja ganz einfach nur, dass Max ja auch super Kräfte hat. Genauso wie, ähm, das ist halt, im Endeffekt ist er aus Life is Strange 1, um das mal ganz kurz zu erklären. Falls ihr nicht gespoilert werden wollt und das eventuell noch gerade irgendwo anders schaut, was ich eigentlich nicht denke, äh, Skip das einfach. Ähm, es ist halt so, dass David Madsen in Live is Strange 1 ein, ähm, ein äh, ja, ich sag mal, ein Wächter war, ein Wächter von einer Schule. Und er zusammen mit ähm, Max und ähm, Chloe, seine Stieftochter, den Sturm überlebt haben. Ähm, und ja, die haben damals halt einen äh, schlimmen, äh, schlimmen äh, Verbrecher auf, also auffliegen lassen. Und die drei sind halt die einzigen, die entkommen sind. Und die anderen sind alle gestorben bei dem Tornado. Man hat in ein paar Folgen vorher, hat man schon mal eine Andeutung gesehen. Da sind wir mit Brody unterwegs gewesen. Da stand da, da war da so eine Tafel. Wir gedanken an die äh, Opfer in Acadia Bay. Das ist der Ort. Und da hat man auch diesen Leuchtturm gesehen, also dieser Platz des Leuchtturmes. Time. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. Oh, uh, 
Sorry, I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? That's Chloe. No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Und da hängt er das, seht ihr das Bild noch von, von ah, Chloe und Max. <lacht> Uff. Okay, old gal. Let's check you out one last time. Hey. Oh, need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. <laughs> he only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you, and he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and... We don't know where it comes from, but you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel. 
And your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Was jetzt geil wäre, ist, ähm, was jetzt geil wäre, ist, wenn jetzt Chloe und Max da vorbeikommen. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Let's hit the road. Ja, vielen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich sage nur, bis zur nächsten Folge. Ciao.